offensive coordinator for the Buffalo Bills, Ken Dorsey, has been fired this morning. Damn. So they are changing. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I just listed it off, man. Number one in the NFL in positive EPA per play percentage. Yep. Number two in the NFL in overall EPA per play, and this dude gets fired. But the feels are bad, so we got to drop kick Ken Dorsey out of the building. That's cr- this is a this has got to be a Sean McDermott thing, right? Like this has got to be a hey, buddy, you fire Ken Dorsey, or you're like I'm firing you instead. <laughs> like, cause because I, man, I under I know I get it. Like it's very inconsistent right now, but shit, a lot of that's on the players. Yeah, I mean, you gotta but, catch the ball. You gotta hold on to the ball. You gotta hit the play. You gotta hit the guy on the route. Like, oh man, maybe Ken Dorsey's not the answer. But it's hard for me to believe that somebody else in the Bills probably is moving forward. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's completely night and day. Maybe they only get the best version of the Buffalo Bills offense moving forward. Shoot, I know a lot of people have been calling for for his head, but I kind of thought that that was just fans being really mad at the moment. But damn, it's funny, like. It, Clear, you get this feeling clearly that something isn't right with that offense, and yet it is difficult to find stats where they're not in the top three. <laughs> like they are, they're number, they're tied with the 49ers for the the joint best successful play percentage in the NFL this season. The only offense I think that has scored more touchdowns is Miami. Um, their touchdown drive rate is top three. You mentioned the EPA numbers. Like it's very difficult to find a number where they're not ranked amongst the top three offenses in the NFL, and yet you you get out of a game last night and you're like, what the hell is wrong with this offense? Why is it not able to do what we know it's capable of doing? Wow, Joe Brady is the interim offense coordinator. Oh. Damn. Joe Brady, holy cow. That is, that is crazy. Joe Brady had that that run at LSU Right, where he where he wasn't even the play caller, and he has turned it into two offensive coordinator gigs. Well, yeah. So had that run at LSU, as you say, pass game coordinator with wasn't calling plays. Right, with with was not Joe Burrow, plays. Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, like right. the, some of the right. greatest collection of college talent of all time. Yeah, gets that offense coordinator gig in Carolina, basically off the back of that. Um, bombs there effectively that Man. goes disastrous disastrously he gets let go and then he's been the quarterback's coach for the bills after that and now he gets elevated to this offense coordinator spot interim whatever um with ken dorsey's firing so i mean look nothing else Man. it's going to be interesting to see how things change whether it's good or bad i mean this is the like, yes, they've decided that Ken Dorsey is a problem or at least the thing that needs to change if we're going to go in the right direction. But if every th- statistic you can find has this offense ranking in the top three, there's probably quite a long way they could go down as well as up. Woo! I, man, I don't know about this one, man. Like, this, this to me really does seem like Sean McDermott is very much on the hot seat here. That's that, to me. That's the only reason why you make a move like this. With given how much offensive success you have had this season, I get that it goes hot and cold sometimes, and you need more consistency out of it. And if the Bills were a little bit more consistent last night, they win that football game. But, cool. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one, Sam. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's definitely. It's not a. It's Maybe not, I'll get old takes exposed very hard. And as maybe. someone who likes the Buffalo Bills and wants to see them succeed, I will gladly be wrong. But this is it's this is a pretty wild decision for me for them to do at this time. It's not a move yeah. of confidence. You know, it's a move you make when you're kind of desperate and you're backed into a corner and things are going wrong and you're like, something's gotta change. That guy's gotta change. That's <laughs> that, that's it. He's changing because that's the only thing I can think of right now. Let's do it.